Okay, let's uh, continue. YouTube, thanks for clicking if you're watching later. Hope you're enjoying. Uh, you missed out when I decided to do my BRB. A, the, the dragon appeared. Nadra just went down the hole, so I had to go uh, shoot it. Mild panic, but it was fine. Um, so I have a dragon claw. That's it. Did I get a snack? Nah, it's, it's 11.30. And I, I had a filling dinner. I'm good. I will go get that shooting star, though. It's already three, so I have, like, two minutes to get it. I'm not sure where it fell, though. off in this direction. Oh, that. No, okay. Is that. Is that doable? Not sure. I can try. I think it's about equal distance from that shrine to where I am. Just here, I have the advantage of height. Oh, it was for dinner. It was like a chicken stew thing. With rice, that's that's it. <laughs> Basic but good. It's gonna disappear. going to disappear. It's gonna disappear. It's gonna disappear. It's gone. Just as I got here. It's so annoying. Okay, well, I tried. Um, going back to... Yeah. Has anyone ever... Had a time where, when they were a kid, they wanted to try something that they saw on TV. And then when they tried it, they were just extremely disappointed in it and hated it. And then had to finish it. Just thinking about that today, because, uh... Someone tried this food item in Australia thinking it was one thing, but then it ended up being something else, and they were just really, really disappointed by it. And I got burned by the same thing when I was a kid. Not an adult, but... There's this thing that we have called a Chico roll. It's like C-H-I-K-O. Chico. If you want to say it, like an Aussie. And, uh... It, to me, when I saw it, I thought, oh, that's like, uh, it's like this thing with chicken in the middle, like chicken filling. Because, you know, the name kind of, it, it sounds like it would have chicken involved. So, I got this, this Chico roll thing for the first time. And it's, it's crispy on the outside and it looked good. I was like, okay, cool. And I took a big bite into it. And then it was vegetables, nothing but vegetables. I believe they have very fine, finite traces of meat in there, but it's not chicken, by any means. It's just, it just feels like vegetable goop. And I was really, really, really disappointed in that. Because, I mean, I talk about how much I like chicken, so. Expecting that you're gonna have this, this chicken thing, and then it doesn't have any of it in it. 
And so yeah, this person was just like, what the fuck is up with Chico rolls? They don't have chica chicken in them. Like, yeah, they don't. <laughs> but it's called a Chico roll. It sounds like chicken. It's, yeah, it's not. It's like, it's more, it's kind of like a spring roll, if you've ever had a spring roll. That's the best way I can describe it. It's like a variant of a spring roll, that's what it is technically. But a vegetarian one. More vegetarian than anything else. I was crushed. What is this? Take it. Aha! Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's that's one thing that, as a, as a kid, I fell for. I was like, I want to try that. That sounds like an awesome chicken thing. It was not. Why is this here? There was another one that was, um... Yeah. Did we have purple and green ketchup as a kid? No, we didn't. I don't think we had any fancy colors. Purple and green, what was that for? The only other thing I remember was like this candy bar. That was chocolate. And it was advertised like the monsters, I don't know, like some monster treat thing. And when they did a tear apart, how they would break it in half. And to me, it, it just looked like a colored filling. It looked cool. I thought, oh, that's probably like, I don't know, like a jam or something. Grab it. Thank you. But uh, it was like a it was like a marshmallow type thing and I hated it. It tastes the same, just different color and purple sunblock. Okay, purple sunblock kind of makes sense. It's just it's just the color. Take a picture. Yeah, yeah, ni nice camera. What? Chat. What is going on here? <laughs> That's a photo of Nadra. What? Is Nadra here? What the fuck? No, Nadra is here. Well, I've, I've clearly fucked up. Really? The camera registered Nadra from that far away.
How far away was that? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? Why was that in frame? Ooh. Yeah, no, see ya. I'm good. I'm not fighting you. Not yet. You know what? In all fairness, I probably could. I don't understand. And yet, when I have something that's pretty much in my face, it just struggles to register bugs and stuff. But Nadra, like, on the other side of the planet, no problem. How are my weapons looking? I could I can probably fight this thing. I also have this, so it'll work fine. fought the spear on in a long time. Whoa, why didn't that work? There we go. Ah, oh, dude, MVP. Oh, this is so much better. Chulin. You magnificent little bastard. Do I have any normal food? Yes. That's a new attack. weapon. Good. Damn, man. The headshot seems to be a little bit more particular. Thank you. The purple sunblock was for kids, so to make sure they rubbed it all in. Haven't seen one in stores a long time. Long time, okay. Yeah, I mean, that would have been cool. It'd have been all purple colored. Really? Why is it not?
There we go, thank you. It's still fun. <laughs> Admittedly, this is taking more than I thought it was going to take. Ah! I want your bow more than anything. Okay. That wasn't too bad. But the other thing is we get his horn. It's probably going to be more important. Oh, we got two horns. Damn. I mean, pretty worthwhile, I'll say. Like... If I attach it to this... I can make a pole arm. Pretty decent one. <laughs> That's, uh, yep. That becomes a 39 spear, which now is my strongest item. Definitely worth the fight. I do, I do like how... The changes to the fights. Like, I think the system of fusing isn't as in-depth as they would like to make it out. However, the rewards for fighting stuff is a lot better. At least I think so, anyway. Oh wow, it's on top of Lanero itself. I never got to have, like, uh, kind of novelty stuff for kids, as a kid. It was always just whatever the absolute cheapest thing was. So nothing like novelty sunscreen. I'm sure it existed. I'd be surprised if it didn't. But it was always just, uh, yeah. Nothing fancy. It was so cool. I mean, how purple did it make your skin? Did, did you look like, uh... Like an Oompa Loompa from... Charlie and the Tro Chocolate Factory? It's a crescent moon. Probably don't have to do this. Let's see if it registers. Oh, 
Okay, it worked. Such a journey. Oh, and I can see a tree over there. One piece of rice. Whoops. Two pieces of rice. It was really purple, but when you rubbed it in, it was clear. Huh. For some reason, I just pictured something that would make your skin purple, and as it dried, it would remove it. It seems like I'm having better luck with rice here. In Breath of the Wild, I just could not get it to drop any rice. It came and blew as well as a commercial. Hang on, hold. System audio, let's see. That is just very, very nineties. Yeah, it would have been like a, like that song from Eiffel, whatever they were, that group. I, was it Eiffel 65? Anyway. The song Arm Blue. Just sing that as you have your sunscreen on. Stop hitting them, it's gonna wear down the sword. Oh, ah, I'm so impatient. Still, this this is definitely better than what it was in Breath of the Wild. I just could never get it to give me rice. I wonder if there's a reason they discontinued it. Like, what if it really stained someone's skin or something like that? I don't know. Somewhere out there, there's just a blue child. It just never went out for them. Or I guess a blue adult now. Maybe that's where the blue man group comes from. It was just people that had their skin permanently stained by the sunscreen. So they're making the best out of their situation.
How much rice did I get? Yeah, you know what? It's quite a bit. What? What is this? Since we're in her tea now, I guess let's see the fate of our house, huh? I'm not trying to take that without asking. I'm trying... what the... Shrooms? As I said multiple times now, I can't admit three customers at present. What do you mean? We took the trouble to come out here, now you're saying we can't come in? But I wanted to see CC's new st- Oh, it's not every day a mega f famous fashion designer debuts new material. Yeah, everything I heard was some of CC's best work. I'm so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. One ticket? You're, so you're saying one person could go in? Hey, come on now. We can't just let one of us get a head start. Sure, I know that. It was just a joke. Ah. Oh well, maybe if you come back later, they'll have room for all of us. Ah. Yeah, it's not like this is the only place, clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Ah. Ooh, or we could check out the pasture. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've heard a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient ah. stuff. Since we got all dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. Thank goodness they gave up. Oh. oh my, sorry to keep you waiting. Are you a tourist who's come to see my sister's, I mean, the new line of CC products? Oh. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. CC herself is in there right now. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. Oh my god. No. Ah, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as the world-renowned CC. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me, are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? Hmm, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Ooh. Welcome to Ventist Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand, and if you weren't aware, you stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of... Yeah, okay. As proof, I present you this. No. The CC hat, the newest and most magnificent work by yours truly. <laughs> Do you see that luxurious curve? Do you know it's my avant-garde? Okay. Would you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. <laughs> Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worth such a crown. <laughs> What's this all about Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Hatino. Uh -oh. oh, look who's here. What can I do for you, oh esteemed Mayor Reed? I'm really sorry, I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no from an answer. So you see, you've got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those are uh, those eyesores are bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hatina's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Aww. Now, now, dear, there's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Hatina wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Hatina's rejuvenation? I didn't, it didn't need rejuvenating. Hatina Village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. Do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. 
My avant-garde approach versus this may is quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook will drive the future of the village. By holding a mayoral election. You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure, suits me. I'll win that pretty easily. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. What? Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we headed back home. Is... Um... Have they brought back the character from Triforce Heroes? Because it was a fashion emergency there. Is this, is this really references in that? Triforce Heroes. Really? Like... So, yeah, the princess was Styla, but then... Okay, it's not her, but it just reminds me of it. So it's okay, we got fashion in the Zelda game again. Oh, you again. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election, and the sooner I get started, the better. Hmm. The answer should go without saying, but are you, of course? You get to pick... Interesting. Yeah. Of course. That settles it, I trust. It's plain for all see that I'm sure in for the next mayor. Well, so one would think. There are still stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed supporters. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside and out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. Although Sophie and I must mind the shop, where will some we find someone who can carry out vital tasks? I'll do it. There's the magic words I was waiting for. You're a lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these. Hylian shrooms? These shrooms are for the village's reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. My supporters are all expert fashionistas, dressed to the nines in CC. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in the reed's family. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. No. The mission is simple. Give a single highly Shroom to each of those eight misguided voters. Well, off you go. This is cool. You get a choice. But see, the thing is with Reed, there's no immediate reward. You can't see it. Highly and Shroom. Oh. What's this, something from CC? Yeah, pretty obvious from the look of it. You know, people keep talking up this CC brand stuff, but it never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. Yeah. But sure, thanks for the Shroom. It's mighty nice of you. Okay, that's one. Is my house still here? House is still here. Is my stuff still in there? Oh. Wait, what the f- What is this? What is this? Golden horse? This is someone else's house. Wait, Zelda's journal? After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set across Hyrule in search of an ancestor. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities, the damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are all Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, also built a school in Hateno. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I have recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Perez's assistant for years, which makes him well-equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught trade, 
to Hudson of Hudson Construction to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be the final job in Hatina before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but humid. Wait, it's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled. It's very comfortable. Proven to be very useful when I'm working alone, I need to concentrate. Work on school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared his head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up the mantle as their teacher. Okay. So, one of two things has either happened here is, like, either we're both living here, or Zelda just commandeered the house that I bought. Golden horse. It just... There's a r secret room, she said. Yeah, what gives? This was my house. I bought it. If we're both living here, fine. That's that's okay. Zelda's secret well. Well-worn hairband. Oh, to get... <laughs> you can get the... The Breath of the Wild hair. That's cool. Kinda nice. Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us. Even if we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. Even if... Even he would never expect that torches are the key. Ooh. Unfortunately, the the castle is currently in the sky, so... Yeah. Great. Good going. Oh, no. <laughs> I need to help reach my friend. Where is my friend? Where is your friend? How far away is your friend? Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, that's ages away. That's just an eternity away. There's nothing here to... There's nothing here for me to build. I wish I could just strap him to my shield and just have him on Why can't I do that? That should be an option. Just put the backpack on my back. Okay, we're going for a leisurely stroll along the countryside. There's another well here. Unfortunately, in this view, it's kind of hard to see.
It's up near that tree. Why are you still rolling? I can see why look, this is just brilliant design. It's like they make it so much of a pain in the ass to get this Korok reunited with its friend that of course you start thinking, what can I do to just speed this up? And that's where all all of that horrible things that people are doing to Koroks come from. It's just the need to want to get this done quicker. Makes them strap the Koroks to rockets and try to make a catapult or a trebuchet. If the rocket lasted longer, I would strap a rocket to the Korok right now and shoot him into the air, but it doesn't last long enough. Okay, where is... Oh, it's over there. Thanks for bringing my friend. Okay. There was the other well. Uh, do we have a hammer? We have a hammer. I don't like the sound of that. That's an enemy. Sucks that children can't be here. Because this is still the village. <laughs> Such a dumb sound. <laughs> Don't understand. It just, sound, it just sounds like goofy. There's more this way. Yeah. 
gotta be worth it. Hey, that gave me nothing. Is that possible? Why? Why did that give me nothing? What a waste. <laughs> Finger slipped. Yeah, it happens. I hate it when I accidentally use Bezos money. <laughs> Thank you so much, Messiah. Appreciate it. I don't think it's even Bezos money anymore. It's whoever the whoever's in charge of Amazon. What am I hearing? This has become... Wait, oh no, that's, that's not an axe? That's not an axe. How... Shit, I don't have an axe. Okay. I guess I could shoot a bomb arrow into it. different wells. that spot here. Would fire work here? Let's see. It does. Cool. Oh. I'm just gonna injure myself though. <laughs> yeah, let me drink some tea while I'm at it. Hmm. This weekend I'm gonna I'm gonna play something else alongside of this. It's gonna be something retro, but I haven't decided yet. Cause uh I got my Nintendo 64 modified. So it has HDMI out now. Which means the capture card can pick it up. So I wanna do something that's not too much of a commit. You got an N64 game. One of the ones I, I own, yeah. I haven't quite decided. I'm kind of leaning towards Yoshi's story because I haven't played that before. At least not properly. And that one, from what I've heard, is not long. But also Star Fox 64 is that one I haven't played. Huh. 
I have to go through my box of games. There's another one called Mischief Makers that I've heard good things about, but I'm not sure how long that one is. Yeah, give the the mod a spin and see how how good the quality is. I got reminded just because of the, the prime thing, because it's like, oh yeah, right. Because <laughs> that's more or less what I use. Uh, the Whatever people give me on Twitch for is just, all right, I'll get something that lets me do more content. And since I'm kind of done with audio upgrades and all that stuff for now, I figure I'll just... The N64 was the only console that I couldn't hook up to the capture card properly. There's a way for me to do it, but it it just doesn't come out the best. But it's it's doable. At least now it's like a clean signal. It's gonna look quite good. Oh yeah, right. It's that. Is that it? <laughs> Does this all just... Yeah, I think this just went in a circle. The Nintendo 64 just wasn't something I got to experience really that much. But I've already played Mario 64, so... And whilst I didn't play the N64 versions of Zelda, I did play the 3DS version, so... Those games are kind of ruled out. So all I have left is just... What else was a major title on Nintendo 64? I mean, sure, there was Smash Brothers, but that's, I feel like, pretty limited in what I could do with it. The Mario Party is, you would need the multiplayer aspect to it. I think we're done here. Banjo Kasui. Do I have a, I don't even know if I have a copy of that one. But that one's not a short game by any means. I'll have to look at my box. I may not have a copy of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Mario 64 I did with the, the 3D collection on Switch, so I've played Mario 64 pretty recently as well. If I play Mario 64 again, it's going to be the DS version, because that's different. Paper Mario. I would love to play Paper Mario, but unfortunately... Well, legit it. Get a, a legit copy of it. Let's just say that. Because I could play it on Nintendo the Switch Online thing. But an original copy of Paper Mario 64 for Europe or Australia is ridiculously expensive. Compared to an American copy. It, it, it is insane how much it costs. Just, or at least the eBay prices for it. That's one of those ones that I'd be, I'd be splurging if I got myself a copy of it. The answer is crime. No. Banjo Tui. That one I most definitely don't have, and I bet that's another one of those ones that's just expensive to acquire.
It'd be one of those things where... I would acquire them if it was... A thing that, like, a lot of people are like, Yeah, you should play it, you should play it, you should play it. Because it's such a... Oof. I mean, go have a look at eBay yourself and ha just look up, like, Paper Mario 64 PAL, P-A-L, which is, like, that's the version for Australia and Europe. It's it's insane how much it costs. And I'm sure banjo Two is, like, on there as well as one of those expensive ones. What is this? What am I looking at here? Compare it to like a US copy of the game. Unfortunately, the Nintendo 64 is region locked from my understanding. To play an American game, I would have to modify it a second time with a different mod. One that allows you to play either region. Because it's not a simple... It's not a simple thing. What is this? Paper Mario is on the Switch expansion. They do have it in Australia. Like, that's the way I could play it, but the, the thing is, I just... I think the price of that service is, is still a rip-off. I don't think it's worth the money, in my opinion. Banjo is definitely something that is nostalgia-driven, because it comes from... The... I guess, if you never were, never played the early 2000s collectathon game, so it's not just Banjo, like there are others in that genre. You probably won't enjoy them. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be one of those things that I would subscribe for a month and then unsubscribe because I don't think it's worth it. Like honestly, for the for the price Paper Mario is, if I could, like, like it's almost to the point where I would purchase like an American Nintendo sixty four, import it, and then purchase the American version of the game. That's just how insanely expensive it is. But of course, then I would need to modify the American N sixty four, and yeah, it's just. But I don't want to have to do that. As much as I... Oh, I see. That's easy. Too bad. But I mean, yeah, I do love Paper Mario, that's the thing. So, like, acquiring it, it would be an expensive endeavor, but it would be a game that I, I personally love. Maybe the next time I have, like, a round of Twitch money to use, I can get one of these more expensive games and just be like, all right. 
Or get the Nintendo Switch Online thing. I don't know. It's probably a better idea. It's just I've heard the emulation on the Switch Online isn't perfect. And there's a whole other thing of uh, just using the original controller. You know? You just don't get that feel. That's the one thing you can't really simulate. Yeah, for the time being this week and I'll... I'll pick one of them. I can go through the box and list them. I know I... I know... I... Alright, the ones that I definitely have... I have Donkey Kong 64, which... That's a collectible. I know I have Mischief Makers. I know I have Yoshi's Story. I'm not going to mention Mario 64 because I've played that before. Or the Zelda games. Ones that aren't party games. Like Mario Kart 64 is just Mario Kart 64. And same with Mario Party. But Star Fox 64. What else do I have? The worst Mario Kart in the series. I mean, I kind of have nostalgia for it. I thought we. I thought Mario Kart Wii was the worst Mario Kart in the series. The thing you can't really hate on Mario Kart 64 too much because it's one of the older ones, and they were still getting the formula correct. Donkey Kong? I heard that Donkey Kong 64 sucks, though. I mean, when you compare it to... the original three. If I'm gonna play a Donkey Kong game, I'm gonna play the original trilogy before 64. Because it's just not the same game. It's a good photo. Can pay it on the rubber banding. Yeah. I guess I'm just not too critical of it because it's just. It's the second Mario Kart game they made. Is this someone we have to give? Let's see. Are you dressed in shroom? You're dressed in shroom. Okay, well, this does this animation. Hold on. When the glow of the blood stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world. Is threatened once again. grab every cartridge I could grab that was, like, shaped in that manner. Let's see. Uh, Mario Kart 64. Mischief Makers. Yoshi's Story, which I'm leaning towards because it's not that long. Star Fox 64. Diddy Kong Racing. F-Zero X. Smash Brothers. I do have Banjo-Kazooie. I do have Banjo-Kazooie. 
Well, then Mario... Mario Party and the two Zelda games. And then Donkey Kong 64. So, okay. <laughs> I do have Banjo-Kazooie. However, Banjo-Kazooie is long, isn't it? Is it something I could get through, say, on a, in a weekend? Or is it a lengthy commitment? Because I could play Banjo-Kazooie. As long as it's something that, say, if I was to play it on the Friday, the Saturday, and maybe the Sunday, I could get through it. I'm up for it. But those, those are the options that I have currently. There might be, like, another one in the box somewhere, but for now. Those are, those are the ones that I have. I can't believe I don't have Pokemon Snap. It's about 15 hours. Ah, is that 100 percenting it or just... Uh, 15 hours for someone that hasn't played it before? Or 15 hours for someone that knows what they're doing? Just guessing. Okay. I can look it up. You, you can look up these things. Oh. Need to get inside? Come find me at Lookout Landing. Robbie. Okay. But the, those are your options. Should keep the one of the Lionel just in case. Just I'm keeping ones of monsters, the big ones, just in case someone wants to see one. I can, I can make a decent weapon with this. Because, I've yeah, I mean, I've had the request a few times to do more retro stuff, and I've been wanting to. Um, yeah, that should be enough. Decent. Okay, we need to find these villages that need shrooms. I don't have too many N64 games, but that's oh, a decent size collection. <laughs> Can't see it. There's a seven villages. 
As long as I don't give one to a member of that family, it should be okay. Someday a second store. Ugh. Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop. You're a new customer. Well, I don't do the dyeing around here. Have a hobby for that. Okay, hang on. Already wearing shroom. Milk! That's what I want. Is this going to be a problem, like, it's going to run the farmers out of town and then I won't be able to get some of the stuff? I hope not. Wait, I didn't really take a picture of Hylian shrooms? Okay. Alright. I got my milk. Hi. <laughs> okay, I've already talked to you. How am I not running into these villagers? Loves fire burnt others, oh, dude. Forever. <laughs> What's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. You look like you've been places. Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here, checking out the scene. Making sure no strangers put on the moves on Ms. Ivy. Wait, I mean, that's why I make sure no strangers come in from outside to disturb the peace. Ivy? You forgot the Miz. Always had the Miz. Ms. Ivy is the poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Ms. Ivy. Just keep the naive I just moved here and won't somebody show me around act to a minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashion-esque as me. By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think would make Ms. Ivy at East Wind happy? I'm not asking for me, you understand. A friend of a friend wanted advice and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go ask her directly. Let me know if you can think of something. What do girls like as presents usually? Food? <laughs> I guess I can find out. Hang on. Ah. ah, this is this is the person. Ivy. Yeah. Welcome to Hatina Village. Here for sightseeing. The East Wind General Store is open for business. Ah, uh, if you're here for Hatina's village's famous fresh produce, you're in the right. Okay. Or if you'd like the super cute CC hat. Ah. You can hit the store across the way. Ventus Clothing. They're featuring a new line of hats right now. Thanks to CC, this village is the place to be. She's drawing in so many tourists that our sales are going up. CC's putting our village on the map. What do you like? Uh, I'm not sure. What kind of question is that? But he's still looking at me, so I should say something. Uh, maybe frogs? I don't know. I like frogs. 100 hot-footed frogs. I would be incredibly happy. Oops, I couldn't think of anything, so I just told him what my dad likes instead. This is fun. This is good. It's like... <laughs> referencing the first quest. I like it. Oh. You can eat frogs. True. I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but... What were you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? I'm sure I noticed. I've been checking her out for a long... I mean, a friend of a friend of... Okay. You went and asked what Miss Ivy likes, what, to her face? What's the idea? Oh, gotta play it smooth. Can't let him know. I'm dying to know. 
All right then. So what is it? What does Ms. Ivy want? I can't leave my friend friend hanging. She wants hot-footed frogs. A hundred of them. What? Yeah, it checks out. Ms. Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about her. Or so my friend's friend is always saying. That was a close one. Better play it smooth. Still, collecting a hundred hot-footed frogs seems like a big job, even for someone you love. But not if I had had help. You traveler types go into wells and caves all the time, right? Just the kind of place you find frogs. I don't even have to go too far. Okay. Ten. Here's some frogs. <laughs> Real- I- you know what? No, that, that's effective- that's a fair trade. It's effectively the same thing. <laughs> I- I do like that it's- it's referencing the quest from Breath of the Wild. Everyone's wearing the outfits. Who who are the last ten holding out? I would assume that's Town Hall. Yeah, this this looks very uh mayor like. Oh, there's a well here. But I think I've been in all these. It's it's just it's all circular. But this counts towards the uh the lady that wants to see all the wells, so why not? No children, so don't give mushrooms to children. Okay, there's one. I have a Hylian shroom, so that's two. Get from CC, thanks for that. The world of fashion moves too fast for us old folks, but I'm in favor of any mayor who can make sure this village stays a place where the younger folk are happy to live. Okay, that's two. So what happened here? Because in Breath of the Wild, he was romancing this this girl. Huh? Do you need something? I'd prefer... Okay. Hi! Ma! What is she yammering about then? She was talking to herself. I thought she was going to give a quest. Oh, another holdout. Oh. Hey there, brother. Oh, you don't know me. I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima, you'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC branded clothes, so I'm keeping my distance till the fat dies down. Oh. Have a Hylian shroom. Ooh. Ooh, for me, thanks. My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it for her as a treat. I'm not too interested in the designs myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. <laughs> and yeah, she does get in look incredibly cute when she wears them too. Yeah, that CC is alright in my book. And I'm not the only one. Kayden from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Okay, good. Am I really going to have to walk into every single house? Don't get involved in politics. That's... What's the lesson here?
Would have been cool if they had a reference to, uh... Wait a minute. Does this work? Okay. No, a reference to the heart piece that you would get in the windmill type situation. There's another holdout. Is that a child? How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? There's no way. That's too deep to swim, huh? What's with the blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. What's that you got there? Highly and shroom. I'm ah. Cece, huh? But I can see you mean well enough with the gift. Sorry, but if you're on farm bins, you'll have to talk to my dad. Mm. Okay. You're a new face around here. If I'm any to judge, welcome to Catunia Pasture. Nothing like morning air on the farm, huh? You got something for me. Highland Farm. Ooh. Hang on. Ooh. Don't get me wrong, I set the gift, but me and my daughter are... Okay. Mm. It's fresh milk. You haven't heard of the farm's fresh milk. It's the best in Hatino. The secrets in the special feed I make for my cows. It gives their milk an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. So I've been having trouble getting my acorns to mix up. Okay. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. No idea where they all went. Probably squirrels started taking over and grabbing them for themselves. Sometimes they'll drop acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them. But they're quick little critters. There you go. No fallen? Well, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Not with me at my wits end and all. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but I have a bottle on me. Excuse me, I can fuse a weapon with milk. I can make a milk arrow. I was keeping it scored away, but no reason to be a miser about it now. I better go mix up a batch of feed right away, now that I've got some more acorns. If you ever want some fresh milk, I'll swap you three acorns. Call it a special trade just for you. Okay, I just looked it up. Banjo Kazooie takes 11 hours if you're not 100%ing it, and takes about 14 and a half hours if you are. So, 15 hours is, yeah. It's correct. What do you want with an old man? Have a shroom. You say this is from Cece. Well, that's certainly generous of her. Thanks. What's this? That's a fine looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately Cece's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. Makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors wherever I turn. My family and all my family's friends my age tend to take life slower than she does. Still, all in all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. How many are left? Two left. Okay. So what was she talking about diving in? Something here, what is it? Oh, this. Uh huh. Okay, we need a creative way to fish this out. Is it really as simple as just. No, it's not.
Am I doing this the extremely dumb way? Why is this bottle so heavy that it doesn't move in the water? How is this thing staying afloat if it's that cumbersome to move? I'm gonna have to make a bridge for it. There's a raft. But that's fine. I mean, this, this should work. Should form my runway. Pretty much going to do this. Okay, and then. Um <laughs> so dumb. But it worked. New speciality with mayor cheese fermentation. Can't name too early. I, I can't even pick it up. Yeah, look. Look. I told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy to, huh? That's my great-grandpa's message bottle, but how did you... Did you fish it out for me? Thanks. There should be a letter in this bottle of advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Yep, here we go. Gosh, do I miss great grandpa's hide and writing. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. New speciality with mayor. Cheese, fermentation, can't name it too early. Oh. Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put great grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Hey! It's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later so I can thank you for the help. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good not just for our farm, but for the whole village. I'm itching to get started. Where is she? She's not here. Oh, there she is. I knew it would work. Ah, uh. oh, good. You showed up. Take a look at this. <laughs> I call it Hatino cheese. That message my great-grandpa left behind had the recipe. 
It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside. It's so delicious. You'll think you're dreaming. But back to the reason I called you here. It's, well, you know, I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Anyway, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it. Yeah. As I understand that great-grandpa worked with the mayor back then on this Hatino cheese to put our village on the map, but it was ahead of his time, so the villagers rejected it. Having eaten this, I think they were nuts. Now it's the time for Hatino cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. But if anything will bring the customers in, it's this. I'd say it's time to do some renovation around here. Maybe here is good? No, I like it better this way. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> cheese. Yeah, I kind of want to eat some. The Hatino cheese shop is complete. What do you think? Next step is to get these folks over at the general store to start stocking it. That reminds me, you won't get this offer anywhere else, but around here I'll give you some fresh milk instead of rupees. Oh, for fresh milk, right. I see. So, I can get cheese. Excuse me, I can make a pizza? I can make a pizza! You can make pizza in this game! Well, it's just, yeah, wheat, cheese, and then tomato, tomato. It's making me hungry. But it's one in the morning, I can't, no, we're not eating. Okay, so I just have two more villages to find. No, you want pizza? Me too. I might get it on Friday. Just as a way to wrap up the week. Oh, here we go. What brings you to town? Oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that I get a look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. What? You swept me off my feet so fast that I gave you one of my prized eggs. No more, though. Just forget about what happened here today. How could I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg, easily given but easy to break. Please find it in your heart to forget what happened today. How could I forget? Okay, it's forgotten. I was wondering if there was any way I could romanticize eggs, but in the end, eggs are something you cook and eat for breakfast. That's it. Okay. Hylian shroom. Okay, there's lots of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They're tasting their own. One more. Let's see if there's anyone else home. Happy Valentine's Day. Here's an egg. Eggs are the Easter thing. <laughs> nah, well, the, the context was she was trying to make eggs romantic, so. I mean, you could, you could do it. Just write on the egg or maybe put it. Maybe put a card, like give it in a basket, put a card on it and just be like, 
go out with me. It'll be an egg-cellent idea. You could make eggs romantic. I realize I haven't jumped down this one yet. Missing one more person. I don't know where they are. So in this case, it's pretty much just the farmers that are holding out. And the old people. I think there wouldn't be anyone else beyond this point here. I'll check, but they said no one at the lab. This is more of a time sink than I thought it was going to be, not going to lie. I thought, yeah, come here, get the milk and leave. Done. I wasn't here for Robbie, I was, I was here for the milk. I didn't come here for Robbie. What? Didn't I? That's another Cora. Oh. oh, where are you? Didn't I do this? Where? Okay, that's... Is this mean? Is this mean if I just put him down the hill? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I, I actually didn't mean to do that. I really didn't. I really did not mean to do that. Oh, well, now that I'm here.
Okay, they're very durable. Very sturdy little things. Surprisingly sturdy. Where's this last person? Maybe I should make it daytime, so then... It's, it's possible that everyone's just indoors right now. Oh, wait a minute. You. The gate, yes. Oh, never mind. Wait, there used to be a fire on this hill. It's not here anymore. This last person. I feel like I have to walk into these people's houses and just disturb them. Okay, that's two kids. Dressed in mushroom stuff. If I find the person, I'll just camp them out. Wait, husband, husband, husband. The husband. Is husband home? Husband is not home. Was full of frogs. Did I mess up his collection of frogs? Huh? You're the customer I saw at Ventus Clothing, aren't you? You know, from what they were talking about, whether to go through the mayor election. I have to take care of what is it? Okay, so can't give anything to them. In the shed every night, don't know what he's up to. It's a secret, okay. Enter our shed at midday when husband isn't around to figure out what he's doing. Okay, read secret. Right, so... Oh, that's fun. 
<laughs> That's another well. I've probably walked past this person so many times. Got another well, that's another well up there. Every one of these I go down, even though they're all connected, it'll give me money. I know I'd have been in this one. This is another one of these ones where we have to use our powers to go through the floor. Why did I help with this election? Because of the hat. I saw the hat and I said I must have that hat. This is someone that... Interesting. This is someone that I haven't met. I might camp them out because this is the only other person, maybe. Let's see. They'll wake up in couple of minutes. <laughs> I just don't want to leave and it's going to be this person. If I fast forward time, they'll probably leave before I wake up. Why can't he understand? Why can't who understand? Did that work? <laughs> that really work? <laughs> or does this dude get up at five? Uh, uh, you visit a tourist. Uh, okay. Some folks like my daughter Prima have started wearing the flashy CC stuff. It's a tad over the top for me and my son in law Wharton, but we prefer the simple life. Always have. Don't mean to talk your out, by all means, go on and have yourself a peaceful stay here. Hmm? Something you need? Yeah! There we go. Say this from Cece. Thank you kindly. Us old folks don't know much about what's in it now. I'm happy to vote for whoever... ...for mayor if they fix up the village real nice. That's it! Got it! Okay. Yeah. Just trying to do use the door. And we need midday. We need to stick around here till midday at least. Uh... She saddled me with so much work when she put me in charge of the mayoral election. Uh... Oh, hello. Don't I remember you from before? I'm so sorry for all the commotion you got mixed up in. But since we are both involved now, could you give me a little advice? Sure! Uh... Ah, I should have expected that. The thing I need your advice on is my sister. It's about Cece. Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon. I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tell my sister and find out where she's going. Oh. Interesting. Both of them have a secret. Oh, you've handed them out already? We've delivered all my little gifts. I see. Well done. That ought to help a few of those read voters see the light. Here. Sign of my gratitude. Truffle. It's a rare mushroom worth more than most can afford. 
As you can, as you're on Team CC, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the mayor election coming up. No. Okay. Fashionable personnel only. Oh. She's got a bunch of stuff in there. Um. Okay, hold up. Does no one cook here? Like, is this just abandoned all the time? Alright, I guess I'll just... Let's see, uh... <laughs> oh, so... So finicky. the nearest well. Over there. Right, and I need to just face this direction. Directly on top of it. <laughs> Nearly. Yeah. It's the wrong thing. I don't even have a hammer. Yeah, that, that worked. Where am I? Um, to the left? Oh, come on! Where am I now? No. Where is this? The slimes are getting on my nerves. Let's try up here. I should have put it on the roof of the- I need to put it on the roof of the building. Because otherwise, I'm just going to keep not getting it correct. Okay. That is precisely on the spot now. somewhere else.
Ugh, I'm gonna have to run a lap of this, aren't I? Let's over here. Okay, this is exactly on the spot. There we go. Got it. Notes towards a new variety of pumpkin. I firmly believe that Hatino Village's charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms. But there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with youth nowadays. And I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Nack, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The color, shape, and appearance are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. The color, shape, and appearance. Are they making a pumpkin that's shaped like a mushroom? We had a bit of a snag there. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. This just seems ridiculous. <laughs> Unless I've misread that, are we saying a mushroom-shaped pumpkin? No, we're not doing that one. Okay, we need to now. Yeah, I'm not sure where his wife hangs out. That's the thing, is like... It is fashion. The mushrooms are gonna go out of fashion. It'd be funny if it just comes full circle and it's pumpkins. Should be home, hopefully. There you are. Uh, ma. Developing a new type of pumpkin, so that's why he's been consulting with Nax often. He could have just asked Cece about it directly, but I know it's too work hardworking and stubborn ah. for that. It's a relief to find out the truth. Makes sense now. Like why he went to Ventus closing. It's so obvious in hindsight. Oh, uh, sorry. That's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking into this. Okay. Right, now we find CC's secret. And I bet CC's looking into produce. She here? She's here. Okay, so we need to wait. It says at night time, so let's... Very inconspicuous, Link. Very inconspicuous. No one must suspect. Pink Panther music.
Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Alright, so I need to do the same thing. No problemo. I'm gonna rise from the ground. Hey, what's up? Ooh, tireless frog. Okay, straight ahead. Okay, it is here. Roughly. Let's see if this works. What? No, but ah. I need, I need the wood. That's why this is here. Also for the chest, but... Get my footing. <laughs> Hopefully, this works. Hi! Hi! How's it going? I was right. She's looking at the pro produce. No. What? Well, now, this is a turn of events. How in the world did you get in here? Into my silo, I might note. We can't just have anyone coming in and add all the hours of the day. Shoo, shoo. Yeah, she's looking into produce. Where is sister? Oh, well, that's fine. It's got a... I wonder if you just get to do both quests. Why does it have to be this finicky? <laughs> so she just sits in a room with a bunch of vegetables. Oh, 
surely I don't have to. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Do I just have to get a photo of it? Say, don't tell me I'm trapped. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Just follow me. It's just. supposed to do yeah. I followed her I guess I'll go to Zelda's house, because I think I can sleep in that bed. That's just annoying. So am I just supposed to wait for her to come out? I did go in there and she was freaked out. I know where she's going. Maybe I just need to take a photo. Okay, best vantage point to take a photo. Oh, I think there's a much simpler answer. I'm surprised there isn't a yahaha in here. Guess we're waiting. And get rid of the marker. She'll be here in, in about a minute. You would think. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can hear her outside. <laughs> I 
taking her time. There we go. Perfect, I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. I have enjoy my nightly vegetables. To shine the lust of the fragrance, yes indeed, this is luxury dining. And so, without further ado, let us tuck in. Oh my god. So scrumptious, the crisp, smooth taste is a sign they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hatina Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. Though I've built a reputation on flash and glamour here in private, I must admit that the simple, unadorned things are the best. There's simply no denying it, alas. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. Okay. That's it. Okay. Really? The sail across the way? What? I thought she'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible, but between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hatino. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever, but the truth is she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown again. <laughs> At least, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I want you to have this in exchange for helping out. Nice! My sister is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed want the same things, you know? I can't understand why the two of them can't work together instead of going to such bizarre lengths. Ooh. Only you have the nerve to address Cece so casually. What do you need? I want a Cece hat. Ah, shows per great personal growth that you can recognize the quality of my most uniquely luxurious design. However, this is a piece so special I would go so far as to call it priceless. It's not for sale. The only way I would part with it is to find someone meeting my personal approval. That I could pass it to. Where's your stock? Oh, uh -huh. you mean clothes shop? That was the Hylian Royal Guard in the Hylian series, yes? I disposed of all that. There's no need for this shop to stock anything that doesn't mean it. Okay. Uh... Can I... Can I break in here? Okay, let's just... Again, put the skull. <laughs> is, is this- is this something I can do? She didn't dispose of it, it's in- it's in the back room, I saw it. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. I don't think I can... Yeah, okay, I can't get under her store. Alright, then I guess we're done here for now. I mean, there's, there's Reed's quest. Let's just leave that for now. I want to go back... Ah. 
Eating bombs is satisfying. Haven't tried. I know it's encouraging you to throw more this time around. I haven't really tried it. Okay, let's try again. Rice, milk, and a veggie. I'm gonna try and... Is milk. <laughs> She's just getting worse and worse. Huh? What is that gentle aroma? Is that porridge I smell? Could it be? Are you making a porridge that helps with gloom sickness? Give it a try. What did you say this was again? A sunny veggie porridge? I've never made anything sunny before. Maybe this will help my grandmother. This is all I came here for. Mm -hmm. Well, grandmother, how is it? Ah. Thank you, Lasley. That was the first meal I've been able to finish in quite a while. Ah. Grandmother, your complexion. The color's coming back to your cheeks. Ah. Hey, look. Are you seeing this? A few bites of your sunny veggie porridge and... It's like she was never even sick. So you were the one who made that porridge to me. Such a gentle flavor. It didn't just nourish my body, but my spirit too. Thanks to you and my granddaughter, it seems I'll be around for a long time yet. I'm so grateful to the both of you. Ah! Grandmother, what are you doing up? Ah. Oh, Clary, I'm so sorry I worried you. But this nice young man made me a wonderful sunny veggie porridge, and now I feel so much better. Hold on, you're doing this much better after one bowl of porridge? I guess I knew that was Lasley's plan, but I'm still amazed it actually worked. Ah. Now that I'm feeling better, you should hurry and prepare for your journey, Lasley. Oh. Huh? You knew? <laughs> you can't get anything by her, Lasley. Besides, everyone knows studying fashion in Hatina Village is your dream. Grandmother and I can take care of the en of Enchanted by ourselves. Trust me, you deserve this. Ah. Clary, are you sure you don't want to go study with her? Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, but there's something else I want more. I want to make Enchanted a success, right here in my beloved Kakariko village, right next to my beloved grandmother, and... I dream of someday filling our store wall-to-wall -wall with outfits you designed, lastly. So don't worry about me, go study hard in Hatina village and come back to us, a fashion icon. <laughs> you mean it? Thank you, Clary. And thank you, grandmother. Well, now that grandmother's all better, I think it's time to head back to the shop. I've got to make sure our prices are back to normal and everything's ready for our customers. You should come by Enchanted. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. I made a lot of porridge trying to find a cure for my grandmother. We won't be able to eat it all ourselves. I think it turned out pretty tasty though, so I'd like to give you some to take on your journey. Sure. I grabbed this quest, like, how many hours ago, chat? <laughs> it's been... I grabbed this quest a long time ago. And only now. Man. That's still rather expensive. But better, I guess. Yeah. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique. It's... Oh, it's you. Now that grandma's better, I can go back to normal prices. The fashion old world owes you a debt. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. We also buy anything you don't need. Ah. For limited only, customers who buy a piece of clothing from us will receive a special gift. So get shopping. Hmm. I could get this, or I could get this, which is sneaky for stealth.
Mag etwas. Schicke Fabrik. Ah, okay, let's go. And that's, hang on, CC brand. Ah. Hmm, interesting. Imagine the discount being items going back to normal. Well, that's that's the case in in Australia with supermarkets. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. I like that. Cool outfit. I think this looks fine. Because we don't need the coal resist for now, so... Okay. Yeah, that's certainly how potato chips are currently. It's like, oh, they're on special. Now they cost what they used to cost last year. You should be grateful. Okay, one sec. There is one thing I'm gonna do. That was close. That almost blew me up. Aww. I wanted to see if I could get one of the 8 bits things, but it didn't work. Okay. One attempt. That's all I wanted to do. That almost killed me. <laughs> The chest almost landed on the, uh, dynamite barrels, like, it's, it's a bit of a troll. <laughs> if you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. You do you do. Welcome to Koshi Dye Shop, where we live to die. Dye ingredients, service charge. Lovely paraglider you got there. Nowadays, not only do we die clothes, but we also offer, offer a fabric we rock. Okay. <laughs> Introductory fabric. <laughs> okay. So you see the famous design on cooked up cutting edge design. Every region has its own unique design. Okay. <laughs> uh, rework the paraglider. Which design do I take? So... <laughs> yeah, let's make it- let's make it Rivali's face. That one's not bad. I like this one. I wouldn't mind the mask or the mirror. This looks cool. I'm gonna take this one. Sure. <laughs> 
Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like it. I got a favor to ask. It's not enough for me to just rework the fabric you, you bring me. I want to dye my hand and make my own patterns. Just like Cece, of course. Hers are all original designs. And making fabric from scratch seems like a lot of hard work, but that's where Hugh come in. Could you cast around for some reference material I could use as inspiration? <laughs> Visuals of a monster called Choo Choo. Regular Choo Choo. It's the Hadina's tradition to die a person's whole outfit from head to toe all at once. That's just laziness. They don't they don't wanna do individual items. That, I mean, it's still not quite. I mean, that blends well, and that blends well, too. This, for some reason, looks blue. I don't know why. This one? Eh. Kind of like this one. Because it then matches the rest of it. We got this one. Oh. Five. Oh, but. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This. These are unimportant. I've never dyed clothing in Breath of the Wild, because think think about it. The way I played Breath of the Wild was being naked as Link and then wearing the hero clothing eventually. <laughs> this is all a new experience for me. This looks good, I like it. It's the exact same, okay. Well. And when you mix it with this glider, I think it looks nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks cool. And then on legs, I guess I'll have utility. Whether it's cold resist or... I like it. Anything new to do? No. Well, I guess the next thing to do is, uh, yeah. Maybe I do have to do that guy's quests. Let's see what he wants done. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at the van. Okay. Come to check up on me because you're worried. Yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behaved. But don't worry. I got a trick up my sleeve against CC. Might not be able to pull them off in time for the mayoral election. So I'm focusing on a second plan to bring back taste no one's tried in years. What kind of taste? Way back when, my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It's too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial. But I never forgot it. Oh, I already got it. Have some cheese. 
no! This, this is it. This is just what I've been looking for. My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager. No! Oh! Patino cheese, of course. It makes sense that my grandfather would have been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koyan not only found the recipe, but managed to reproduce it. <laughs> but this is great news. It's a clear sign that we ought to make the Hatina cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for that cheese. Did I make the pizza? Nah. I'm kind of glad I didn't. It's just food, right? It's not going to do anything super special. I'll ask the Hatina general store and some traveling merchants added to their wares too. Shouldn't take more than that to tip the election my way. You should come out to watch it happen. And it makes me hungry. Oh. The mayoral election begins soon, if I remember right. Thanks to you, I should be a shoo-in to win. I think I'll head out to meet Sophie soon. Okay. Talk to Sophie in front of Ventus clothing. Get the election on the way. Wish it wasn't so cloudy, but we should be okay. Get everyone in the plaza. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get pizza on Friday. Oh. I want pizza as well, but it's late here. And now, without further ado, let's have each of our candidates for a mayor say a few words. Oh. Uh, hi, I'm Reed. I believe that the heart of our village is its pastoral culture. We've built a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hatino, and I don't want us to lose that. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialities, starting with our brand new Hatino cheese. Oh. I am the world-renowned CC, Hyrule's premier fashion designer, but you knew that, of course. Together we can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go-to destination for all things stylish. You probably shouldn't shit-talk the place that you're trying to win favor, like calling it backwater. Vegetables don't make the world go around. It's glamour that rakes in the cash. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. Fashion comes and goes. Your style is trendy now, but it'll be over soon. And then where will we be? Nonsense. It's trends that shape the world, not the other way around. That's... That's enough! Sophie. Both of you are just arguing for more of what you like, not what's best for Hatino. You can't fool me, Cece. You've loved simple, plain things forever, including the vegetables of Hatino Village. I know for a fact that you hide in the silo at night to snack on vegetables. What, moi? Well, wherever did you get such a curious notion? And you, Reed. Your secret's out too. I know you've been secretly studying Cece's designs in the shed. You think there's something that you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming? Now, who went and told you that? <clears throat> see, see, I can't deny any of it. I should have... It should have made me happy that you came in and livened up the village. No, Reed, it is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. <sighs> the trends and style I made my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked on. Please forgive me, everyone. I'm sorry, too. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. Cece, wait. It, I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny you your due. Did I hear you say you're working on new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a Cece-worthy endeavor. There's nothing wrong with asking if you can help, you know? People of Hatino, I've come to we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Hatino village vibrant is to work together to combine traditional culture with new ideas. Ooh. Sophie and Clavia told me what you did on our behalf. Thanks to you, Hatino village is thriving once more. You ought to reward such fine work. Hmm? Come to Ventus Clothing when you have a moment. Thank you so much for stalking me, yeah. And my, and my competitor. I knew, of course, that you'd been in cahoots with Sophie, but I never dreamed you'd be so conspiring with Clavia. 
Still, all in all, we call that election a success. Do you remember what we discussed when you first came here? This CC hat is the latest masterpiece from the CC collection. See those luxurious curves, the avant-garde colorway. Everything about that hat is perfect, and so I've been saving it to be queefed to the perfect model. Do you grasp what I'm getting at? It's you that I want to model my CC hat. You who saved not only Hatino Village, but also me and Reed. My perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. Besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Here we are. Now put on the hat and lord it to the whole world over. Tidy, hmm. I shall reinvent myself and open Ventus clothing anew. Sophie, there's work to be done, sister. Yeah, they basically decided the election. As for myself, I have had a long think about where to take my brand from here. To begin with, I'll study my collection of unique goods designed by our forebears. See me if you happen to part ways with precious apparel that's too rare. Okay, I might have something in my collection that can serve as a guide. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, can I dye this outfit? It's so ugly. Yeah, but that's the point. Wait a minute. Did this make Link's lips a different color? I picked the one outfit where- yeah, it- It gives Link lipstick. Hold on. Oh, okay, you can't die it. <laughs> Damn. But these these quests are funny. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Okay, we're leaving Hatino for a while. But see, this line of quests, it didn't feel at any point where it was boring. And the reward was something worthwhile. It wasn't just, oh, here's some money. Oh, here's some... Some sword, or... Here's a gem. It, wa it was just, it was its unique thing. And it felt more than just a fetch quest, you know? It was good. Way more fleshed out. Okay, chat, I have to leave it here as I need to get sleep. I got work tomorrow, so. Tomorrow, I'm not planning to stream as Tuesdays I usually don't and it's been a while since I haven't uh, you know, streamed so I'm gonna just take an evening to kind of kick back and chill so that's what is going to happen tomorrow nothing <laughs> but I will return the day after and we'll continue more of this so hope to see you then in the meantime, if you want to continue watching my content, head on over to YouTube. Just search for the channel name over there. Uh, or you can go to my website, shambles.gg. Has links to everything. YouTube, uh, Discord, all that stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube later, thanks for sticking around to the end. And consider doing fun algorithm stuff, pressing buttons, all that fancy stuff to support. But yeah, I'll see you all in a couple days, so. Uh, yeah. Take care, everyone, and enjoy. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you soon.